All right, in my video today, I will give you a next update about the progress OpenBOM is having with developing construction software support. So let's take a look on the uh, updates and improvements that we are making for OpenBOM uh, Revit integration. So in uh, my previous video, I demonstrated how you can generate a bill of quantities from construction project in Revit. So let's repeat the step just and we'll take a very simple demo of creating bill of quantities for doors in this project. So let me pick a doors and uh, create a bill of quantity report for these doors. So let's update the information. We're getting, we're getting data and uh, uh, we created the uh, bill of quantities for all doors. So what is uh, useful is that uh, in this bill of quantities, we're getting all advantages of open bomb organization of uh, data, data management and data flexibility. So uh, I can uh, go and uh, I can update information uh, in this, uh, <coughs> in this uh, um, data set in open bomb. It can be done by a single person but it also can be done by multiple persons, multiple people and a team of people that are connecting together and collaborating together with OpenBOM. So you can add additional pieces of information using flexibility of data in OpenBOM. So I can, I can add cost, I can add any pieces of information to uh, OpenBOM data structure. So in this data structure is collaborative and uh, people will be able to collaborate together and update this information. Now, what is important is that the second part of the integration with Revit allows you quickly put this information back to Revit. So if I made updates to this bill of quantities, I can go back to the Revit and I can use a second uh, process of the updating properties. So I will be updating properties for the old doors uh, in this uh, project and I will uh, start the update and I will uh, select the data source that what we created now and uh, we're getting uh, information now updated. So if I will if I will go and I can see first of all that data is updated and the parameters went back and I can also select a particular uh, component and I can see uh, the particular component that was updated with um, uh, with the pieces of information that we enter it. So, and then going into this piece of information, you can see that uh, data was updated in Revit. So in this case, OpenBOM allows you to bring data out, uh, show this information in a collaborative user interface for, uh, for OpenBOM, collaborate with a group of people, edit information, and bring this information back to Revit. So thank you for uh, watching this quick update and we'll report on our next steps and progress of working on construction collaboration using OpenBOM and I will talk to you in the next video.